What up folks, Alex here. Now, if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know that I like to use motion VFX packs. Now, they've reached out to me and asked to create a real quick video just explaining the reasons why I like using motion VFX and to give you a real quick demonstration of some of their latest and greatest packs. So here we go. Now, the number one reason I like to use them, there are obviously other presets out there, there are other ones available, but I generally come back to Motion VFX. They're really well made. I know how to make my own presets. I've actually do make my own presets, make my own little titles and animations and this, that and the other, but I'm just not as good as the guys working at Motion VFX. The animations they do are really swish and some of the designs they come up with, it's just really, really nice. So having these really well made, really nice looking packs is just an absolute winner for me, to be honest. It saves me loads and loads of time. Now, I think a pack to demonstrate their creative design, flair, whatever you want to call it, is their M Title Restyle Pack. Now, they describe this as a versatile and impactful typography plugin for DaVinci Resolve. Now, this one's actually got 65 different presets, most of which are titles, but they're really cool. They're not just your usual fade in, fade out style titles. We've got this corrosion one, we've got a spooky one, a numerals one, we've got this sliced one. Melted captions, tearing ones kind of funky, broken, which gives this like broken glass effects, glitched, scratch, you get the idea. These are really cleverly made and look really, really cool. As well as all these different titles, there's also some add-on animations, some funky backgrounds, some descriptions, and then some overlay effects. I'm gonna throw some on screen now so you can have a little look at how they look. And as you can tell, they're really funky. You might not use them for every situation, but if you're doing a music video or you do music videos, for example, some of these titles are really, really funky. The designs are really cool and the animations are really nicely done. So yeah, design. I like their designs, they do cool stuff. And then my next reason, reason number two, ease of use. I don't have much time. I'm always struggling for time, trying to work jobs and do my own life as well as doing this YouTube channel. So having these plugins available to me, which I can just throw onto my timeline is a massive win for me. It's a massive time saver. And it just makes life way, way easier. Now, if you didn't know, Motion VFX actually have their own installer, which is called the M Installer. This sits on your PC or Mac or whatever you've got. Once you've purchased something from the store, it automatically appears within the M Installer. You just hit install from there and job done. Once they are installed, you just open up DaVinci Resolve, you open up your effects library, and then within here, we've got all of these Motion VFX folders. So under video transitions, we've got Motion VFX. Under titles, Motion VFX and effects as well. So if we expand Motion VFX, you can see we've got all of the stuff within here. So these are all the different packs which I've got. Now a great pack for this is the M Tutorial Pack. Now the M Tutorial Pack is a creator's toolbox, as they say, for DaVinci Resolve. Now this one's a really varied pack, it's got 107 different presets. We've got things like titles, placeholders, miscellaneous, lower thirds, focus pointers, transitions, add-ons, backgrounds, guides, all sorts of fun stuff. And they're all really, really easy to use. So at the moment I'm in the titles area and I've got all of these different titles. So I can just grab any old one. Let's grab this title one here, drop it on a timeline, hit play, and here we go. We've got our little title screen. Now, if we give them a click within the inspector, we've got video title and we've got our M tutorial title 10 settings within here. Everything generally has this in and out animation. So as you can see, it's animating in. If we want to get rid of that, we just untick the box and then it just pops in as its own. We can then drop a transition on it if we wanted to, to have our own sort of in animations. And then within here, we've got all of our different controls. So we just come in here, we move them around, we change the scale, the rotation, the wording. We do all the stuff that we want to do. We can even then drop this into a bin or into a power bin. So it's always ready for us. We don't need to customize it every time. We've got them in power bins ready to go. And all of that means they're just incredibly easy to use, which saves me loads and loads of time. Now on a very similar note, number three, customization. As demonstrated with that M tutorial pack, you can customize everything that you need to. You can customize the text, the in and out animations, the colors of things. If you've got different pointers, you can change the size of them. You can customize pretty much all of the elements that you need. Now, another one of my favorites is this M Tuber 3 pack, which is a creator's must have toolbox. Again, this is a really varied one, 72 time-saving visual tools, calls to action, subscribe, like, share, all that sort of stuff. 
chapter bars, corner screens, intros, social media, social media icons, tools, typography, transitions, backgrounds. So I'm gonna open up my MTuber 3 folder. Intros, let's just grab this MTuber 3 intro number four, hit play, and we've got this little intro animation. Now here it says your logo placeholder. Now most of the packs that feature some sort of title have these placeholders or drop zones as they're sometimes called. All you need to do, you open up the inspector, we go to our logo controls and then we've got the option to have a logo or text. So if I wanted this to be text I could just click text, down here there's a text box and I could just put Mr Alex Tech if I wanted it to be like that. Or if I wanted this intro to feature my logo, I simply change it to logo. I've got a custom logo path here, so let's just go to browse and find my logo. And now if we just hit play, this introduction now features my logo. So it's got that on there, it's got it in the corner. We can change the size and the position and do whatever we want to do to make it look perfect, but the whole animation just works with whatever logo that we want. Meaning that everything is completely customizable, which again, just saves loads of time. Number four, something they've started doing recently is adding tracking to their effects, to their presets, which again, I think is a really cool idea. It's something that I wanna have a play with in the future. You've always been able to do things like call outs, for example, in DaVinci Resolve, but actually having them track onto your subject has been a bit of a pain. What Motion Effects have done is added the tracking abilities within Fusion and then given you those controls on the edit page. So then you can track everything that you want to make these effects, these titles work really quickly and really easily. Now there's a whole pack which is basically dedicated to callouts and it's called the M Callouts Simple 2 pack. So let's have a quick look at that one. Now this one contains 50 minimalistic callouts and again, they're really nicely animated. They can be fully customizable, but they all look pretty good off the get go. You can change the fonts, change the colors, do all the stuff that you want to do. Now the big thing with these is they are completely trackable. So let's find a nice one and we'll have a play with it in DaVinci Resolve. This one actually contains a video, so let's try and find this one. So we're back in DaVinci Resolve. Now because these have got tracking, they actually don't exist within titles. So we need to come down to effects, we open Motion VFX and we've got that M Callouts Simple 2. Now we could apply these directly to our footage on our timeline, or instead we can just go and grab an adjustment clip from our effects, put it on there, and then we just go to our Callouts and we just apply it on there instead. As you can see, we've got all of our little previews, so I can find the one we want, which is this one here, and we're gonna drop it onto our adjustment clip. Now if I just hit play, by default it's just gonna pop in like so. We've got our text, we can customize, and we've got our drop zone. Let's go to our title controls, and then we've got our drop zone controls, and again, we've got a little loader in here. So we're just gonna go to browse, and we'll just pick up my logo for now. Let's just change the size of that. And there we go. So now we've got a custom little call out animation. Now, let's just do our tracking. So we're gonna come up here, we've got all of our tracking tools. Let's go to the very beginning of our adjustment clip, now the easiest way to do this is using the on-screen prompts. So we're gonna come down to the bottom left of our preview screen and change this to be our fusion overlay. And then we've got all of this information here and we've got this one called tracker. All we need to do, we grab the little corner and we put this on the thing we want to track. So I'm gonna track this lady's eye. So I'm just gonna put that there. And then we've got our tracking controls over here. We just wanna play this through and track to the end. So we're gonna track forwards and that's just tracked all of that for me nice and quick. And if we click on OK, hit play, you can see the tracker is doing what we need it to do. So now we can just turn off our fusion overlay and this little call out is just gonna track on the eye as you can see here. If the call out's in the wrong place, which it kind of is, I'm gonna go to my call out controls. We're gonna move this over here, move this down here and all the way through, it's gonna play while the end of the call out tracks on the person's eye. Job done. Easy peasy. And then last but not least, the fifth reason I like them, variety. I actually am starting to do loads of different videos. I do these videos for my YouTube channel. I also do videos now in my day job, which requires me to do other things. I'm gonna start taking on some more projects outside of this social media space as well. So I'm doing loads of different things. So having loads of different packs is just really handy. Now Motion VFX, they've of course got their titles, their YouTuber packs, but they've also got cinematic title packs as well as more social media based stuff as well. I'm really trying to up my social media game at the moment and there's one called M Message 
2, which is a really great example. So this is the M Message 2 pack and it contains over 100 trackable notifications for DaVinci Resolve. And we've got things like these chats, icons, incoming call notifications, inputs, things like status bars and that sort of stuff which you can type in, notifications, overlays and reactions plus social media posts. So this is a really cool one for me who's trying to do a little bit more in social media. And again, they're all really simple to find. They're in your effects library. I've got M message two. Within here, I've got different categories, chats, icons, incoming calls, inputs, notifications. Let's just grab another adjustment clip. We'll put this one on here like so. And we'll go with, let's just go with a notification. This one looks about right. One new message maybe. If we hit play, it animates in and we've got a little message. In the inspector, we'll go to our effects. Let's go to our text controls first. We can change all of the text within here. You made it Martha. I'm gonna leave that as it is. But once again, we've got tracking controls. So we're just gonna turn on our fusion overlay once again. I've got my little tracker box. Let's just move this and we'll put it sort of on the phone-ish. Want it to sort of track our phone like so. And then we're gonna play this through. That shouldn't take too long at all. There we go, that's done that nice and quick. And now we can see we've got a little tracking line. And if we hit play, we can see that our animation, our notification is moving along with our phone. Now all we need to do, put it in the right place. I'm gonna to go to my content controls. I want this to be over here, just above the phone. Something like that, hit play. It's gonna pop up like so. So there you go, a couple of packs from Motion VFX, which I've been playing with, I've been enjoyed using. I think they look really cool and they're doing some good stuff with tracking, customization, ease of use, and everything else that you'd really want from some DaVinci Resolve presets. They do currently have some sales on, so check down in the description below, give that link a click, and off you go. There you go, thanks for watching, take it easy, I'll catch you next time.